The next thing that we will have is uh, a two-on-two -two where we have a coach uh, pass right there. So let's give me some uh, guards right here, like the ones, and give me the wings right here. Typically in two-on-two, -two, we will not take our posts through this particular drill. We'll put them on the other side and we'll work on something else. Uh, but, we can't, but you can do this with your posts uh, to get them used to running and jumping a little bit as well because they, they do trap a little bit in the press. But two on two, you definitely, you want to break it down um, as, as simple as you can and, and in small numbers as you can to get each level of the zone used to their particular responsibility. In two on two, the coach will take it out and uh, it's same principle on this side. Now, it would be the same principle on the opposite side if we were to get in, uh, acro across the river entry. So let's say the terror broke this way Typically, this is an easy pass for us to steal. We're on the inside, we have great position. They can't lob it over the top or they would hit the backboard. So if they made some sort of bounce pass here, the uh, responsibilities just go in reverse. So we would be help side on ball, taking them down whichever side of the floor that, that we had on the scattering report. But usually it's down the sideline. Okay, so let's reset, ball with the coach. Uh, Ball goes into this side, ball side, like it will about 75% of the time. And as she goes, what we want typically is we want this defender strong to the ball. And in this case, the coach will not move, so it becomes a two-on-two. -two. The inbounder won't move, becomes two-on-two. -two. And just for drill purposes, we'll have you, this, this offensive player, stay at the level of the ball and it creates unnecessary and unrealistic type situations if we have this person advance because we would have X3 and X4 in those particular areas anyways, and we can go over that. But for this drill in two on two, this person cannot advance past the level of the ball. And that way it gets used, our one and our two, used to the run and jump part trap of this particular defense. So as the ball handler starts to move this way up the sideline, when we are strong to the ball, freeze, we are 50% or more away from our defender, uh, offensive player. Any cross court or lateral pass does not hurt us. And if this is an elite ball handler or point guard or someone that we don't want the ball in their hands, we will come even stronger to the ball and show or stunt a uh, trap right away. And a stunt is basically just faking out the offensive player or throwing a fake to, to get a kind of a pre-read on what the offense is comfortable with or if they're uncomfortable with uh, bringing the ball up the floor. So we'll make this read accordingly. As she dribbles up the sideline, okay, freeze. Once the defender sees the back of her head, she is coming in and we are cutting off the sideline and we are getting a trap. And as we talked about in the amoeba defense, any trap, we are physical with our bottom half, okay? And we do not get split out of traps. That way, if we get a quality trap, the rest of the responsibilities become very clear on what they need to do. Okay, so let's go through this uh, full speed, okay? Um, ball handler, you, you, are, you are able to make a lateral pass back if you want, okay? Force it to this side, yep, okay, here we go. Good, good. Good, and freeze, good. And this, this was great 